is that people say that you know uh, <clears throat> it is bad okay you know hindus what are they doing they are worshiping idols they are worshiping stone okay why are they worshiping stone okay so this has been a controversy for a long 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 time thousands of years this controversy has been there right why are we worshiping stones right now because of the exposure we are getting with this drama janmabhoomi this is being seen by everybody across the world right everybody across the world is seeing what is happening now what is consecration this is the best opportunity for us to make everybody understand what is consecration i just imagine the kind of opportunity we are getting consecration you know people need to understand it is not the stone which we are worshiping we are not worshiping a stone right stone is an object of worship it is an object of focus okay it is like a magnifying glass right if you use a magnifying glass okay you can use the power of the sun to actually burn things right so that stone has to be only considered like a magnifying glass which can use the power of that sun to you know either destroy or even create when i talk about destruction it is destruction about our own ego right it's represented by kali or so many right so many of our deities it is about destruction of our own ego now when this consecration throughout this consecration people will understand how this process is done right a stone which is a new it is a, a new stone right and that stone has no power that stone has absolutely no power now that stone is brought into that place and then this process starts of prana pratishtha the process of prana pradeshta is imbuing energy into that stone how are we doing it with sound different 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 mantras are chanted mantras are chanted mantras are chanted mantras are chanted and that chanting is actually creating certain changes in energy in that stone sound is extremely powerful that cha- makes changes in the stone okay now when we go near that stone naturally what happens is that you can feel that energy okay when we go near that for stone you can start feeling that energy so this is what is going to happen there and not only that when you are going to f- feel that energy and when you are going there and chanting those mantras by yourself okay you start resonating with the energy of the stone okay and then what is happening is that you are imbuing that consciousness or even the characteristics of ram in you okay you are imbuing the characteristics of ram within you and ram is known as the maryada purusha is a perfect human being okay and that is what we are you know looking at achieving all of us we are looking at achieving something like that okay abiding by dharma abiding by dharma right all of us and this is what we are trying to achieve and also the thing about ram right ram's life is you know so many disasters one after another after another after another after another 
and lot of us can relate to that because we have also gone through up and down and up and down and up and down right and ram is maintaining equanimity of his mind for he's keeping the mind steady and doing his dharma in spite of the worst things which can happen to a person the worst things whatever you can imagine is happening right he is losing his wealth he is losing his kingdom he is losing his wife he is losing his children he doesn't even know he has children all of this is happening in his life and throughout this he is maintaining his dharma kshatriya dharma raja dharma right everybody has got a different dharma right as a king he has got certain dharmas and he fulfilled that and this is why he is called a maryada purushottam and this is why all of us love ram okay all of us love ram the way he lived he is what we call as a perfect yogi and us as yoga practitioners this is we are this is what we are trying to achieve in our lives also to maintain that steadiness of mind yoga chitta vritti nirodha this is what we are also to trying to do samatvam yoga uchchati krishna has said this whether it is patanjali krishna all of them have said very simple maintain the steadiness of the mind whatever the circumstance might be so there is a lot of things we can learn and the whole world can learn out of this right so do don't just treat this as you know a, a, a temple is being created a temple is being a temple at some small place a temple is being No, 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 no. It is much beyond that. It is much beyond that. So we are addressing multiple things here, right? It is we are addressing multiple things. Okay, the caste system, okay, idol worship, right? All of these things, which has actually, you know, is. detrimental to our society we are addressing why it should not be what is the reality behind the whole thing right what how rich is our culture right? and all of us should be proud of this moment on 22nd when this is happening all of us should be proud right and this is what i wanted to discuss today